Hey guys, hi, what's up? It's Anna and you guys already know this is a thrift haul. So I say this every time, but I really think this is gonna be a short one this time. There's only 14 things. I just wanna say two though first, I didn't know that there was a day when they do everything like a certain percent off. And I knew that there were certain like sale days that they would do because I know, oh, this is Goodwill. <laughs> we went to one of our favorite Goodwill locations. We always go to the same ones. We just rotate them out. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that there were certain days that they do now that are just like a sign and they're constant. So now I guess Wednesdays are 20% off of like everything in the store on top of the color rotation. So the color rotation tags are 50% off, but everything in general is already 20% off. So if you are an avid thrifter or if you're just getting started into thrifting, I highly, highly, highly suggest um, trying to find out when their sale days are because they do them often. And then they have days especially for like students where students will get a discount. And then I know they do like for certain age groups, they do discounts as well. So yeah. Also I'm subscribed to like emails and like notifications or whatever for the sale days, but I feel like maybe they go to my spam or something. That's why I didn't know. Whatevs. This day we went on a Wednesday, it's 20% off of everything. And then the color rotation ones were 50% off. So saved a little extra this time. Only got 14 things though, so let's go. My videos are always so long for no reason, so let's just go. <laughs> First thing that I got is this really cute, like, tribal print top. It is from originally Forever 21. It is still in great condition, um, so it, like, hasn't faded or anything yet, which is nice. And I don't shop at Forever 21 anymore, but when I do find it in the thrift stores, I'm like, for $2, I'll take that. Um, but so I like the back of this. It's kind of got like a cutout deed detail design. I don't know what I was about to say instead, but it's got a cutout back. And then I like the length of the sleeves. They're not like full length sleeves, and it's really lightweight. Forever 21, can't go wrong. I don't even know how much everything costs. I just know that I got the 20% off since it was a Wednesday. And then a couple of things, maybe like two or three things, were 50% off. So yeah. Anyway. Then I got this really oversized like jumbo sweater, but it's like a cape kind of thing. I got this for my friend, but she tried it on and didn't really like it. And then I tried it on and loved it. So I got this. It's just this really big gray. Oh, this is the back. Like sweater. I think there might be a little bit of a stain on there. Let's see if we can see it in the front. Yep, there is. See it right there, that little dot? Spray and wash. Hopefully it comes out. We'll see. But so yeah, I like the cowl neck to it because it kind of like folds over when you wear it to be kind of fitted like that. And then like I said, it's got like kind of like a cape bat wing type thing going on. Like there's the seam. You're not seeing anything, are you? So it's got like the seam for where the arms go and then it just looks like a cape on. You will see it in the try on part. It'll be better. This one is actually from White House Black Market. So really happy that I picked this up. I love that it actually has functioning pockets on the front as well so got that then I grabbed a workout top just because it kind of looked sporty chicish I guess so I got this black just like workout tank with white details like stitching on it and then I liked the little white zipper in the front I hate workout tops that have built-in bras but what are you gonna do I bought it anyways this one is by Fila Sport. So, not much to say about that. Simple. Then I got this really pretty, love this blush color tank. Or kind of like sleeveless top. Just looks like this. It does have kind of like a silky-ish type material to it. And that's what the pocket is in the front. That's why it's kind of standing out a little bit more. While the rest of the front of the shirt, anyways, is a cotton material. And then the back has... That little bit of a detail too. I thought it was all the way in the back. It's not. But so the top has that like different material too. And this is Ann Taylor Loft. I didn't try this on. I was like I'm just gonna get it because it's super pretty. And then I got it home and I was like this is an extra small. This might not fit. <sighs> I feel like I got, I didn't get that much this time or as much as I'm usually used to finding. But it's like and I didn't really think I found anything that I was so, so, so excited with, so in love with. But now that I'm looking back through everything, I'm just, like, really happy with the stuff that I picked out. 
weirdly because I wasn't like too excited leaving the store but then I got this kind of like is this like a tie-dye I don't know tie-dye marble texture not textured marble design dress who knows but it's got black and like a brownish gray tinge to it I think it looks tie-dye is this tie-dye it is by the brand Bongo. I remember Bongo brand jeans. I was like obsessed with them when I was in like fifth grade. <laughs> but I think it's supposed to sit kind of like oh, like off the shoulders-ish. It's got a really nice like stretch to it. It's a size large. I didn't try it on again. So hopefully it looks okay. It might fit a little bit oversized and like loose fitting boxy flowy. But we'll find out I guess. And you guys will find out along with me. If it doesn't fit, I'll be sad. So I'm going to go and just show off one of the best finds of the day. And it's this jacket, which is currently still inside out. The color I'm not exactly fond of, but the brand had me sold. I was like, I'm getting that. It's going home with me. There's no way it's staying on the rack. So it is just this Marmot, Marmot, Marmot brand jacket. I don't know what kind of jackets these are called. And it's funny though because like I remember like in high school and whenever I would see people wear these like North Faces that were this material I was just like but I like love it now. The color could have been different but I mean it's a thrift store find. What can you really do? Um yeah I got this. Didn't even try it on. I was like this is coming home with me regardless if it fits. If it doesn't it's it's gonna be mine. So I brought it home and I was like, I looked at it and I was like, there's no way it's gonna fit. It's a size small and it fits so nicely. And I love it, it's so soft. And I usually check pockets with jackets. I'm always like cringing right before I do it because you never know what you might find in there, which is probably a bad idea to just stick your hand in someone's pocket, like in a pocket, now that I think about it. The pockets were super clean on the inside, which was nice, it's still great quality. I'm really happy I found it. How much did I pay for that? I think I paid a regular price for a jacket too. Like someone did not price that right. How much do those jackets cost normal like suggested retail? Google it. All I can find on their website is like a luster jacket but I don't think that's that material which is like $110. So if this jacket is anywhere near that price even if it's like $80 I legit paid I think maybe six or ten dollars for it. So now this is another one of my favorite finds. I actually think I like this one better than the jacket. Just because of the color of the jacket. It's inside out. This is inside out. So it is this gorgeous colored peasant top. This is a peasant top, right? Peasant top. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this jacket. Or er, this jacket. But watch me try this on and it looks terrible on. Because I didn't try this on. I was just like, this is going home with me. It is by Michael Kors, which I could do without Michael Kors. But it is a great shirt. I think it's really, really pretty. It's like a silky type material. Um, it's got the stretch all the way around right there. So you can wear it kind of higher up on the shoulders or lower off the shoulders. And then it's got a little bit of a cinching around the sleeve. And then this big, chunky, waisted detail, which is really stretchy. So this is going to be so comfortable, so nice and pretty fun for the summertime. So I'm so excited to wear this shirt. I think it is straight up gorgy. Then I got this shirt only because I saw this lady holding it. And that's when I like ran over to the section that she was like standing in when she was holding it. And she was holding it like really examining it and everything. And then she finally turns to me and she goes, do you want this shirt? It didn't look good on me. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful top. And I was like, yes. Are you, uh, are you sure you don't want it? I was like, did you try it on at least? Are you sure you don't want it? Are you sure you don't want it? Are you completely okay with giving it to me and she was just like she didn't like how it looked on her but she was like it's such a beautiful top you can wear it in the summer wear it with a black bra with a white bra underneath it'll be so pretty I was like just give me the shirt lady but I was so happy she gave it to me this shirt is gorgeous I am in love obsessed with the shirt well it's not even like a shirt it's like a cover-up I guess but it just looks like this I'm trying to get the arm out of it, it just looks like this how freaking pretty is this? How pretty is that? 
How pretty is it? But so it's just like a really nice like black mesh with obviously as you can see this nice white embroidered pattern all over it. Like it's not even just printed, it's embroidered so it's gonna be so nice for the summertime. This shirt. It is by the brand You Are Not Alone. So kind of weird. Um, I think it looks like something you could probably find at like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. So loves that. The only thing about it that I was kind of upset about when I got home and I was really looking at it, which is sadness, but it's okay. <sighs> the arm has a hole in it. It's like got a rip. If you can see it, maybe sort of, but so right there, this little stitch came apart. So easy fix to just be stitched back, but that's kind of sad that it's a little bit messed up. And it looks like that might have actually happened on the other side at one point, maybe. Because it kind of looks like someone stitched the other side together already too. But I might have to touch up this side too, but totally fine. I'm obsessed with this shirt. I'm so happy that that lady didn't want it and she gave it to me, so. Alrighty, now for a sweater that I found on the go back rack outside of the dressing rooms. So happy I found this. It is just this dark gray sweater. It's super plain. It's got a little bit of a higher neckline to it, like a mock neck to it, but it is from Lord & Taylor. So it's got that logo tag on the inside. It says exclusively for you, Lord & Taylor. It is merino wool, made in Italy. Gorgeous sweater. Then what is a thrift haul from Anna without velvets? Even though I say that and I don't always find velvet, but... So I found a velvet button-up top again. You guys know I just, I cannot help myself. Actually though, I did well today, that time, this time. There was a brown velvet top and it was from like Gap or something. And I was gonna get it, but it was a large and it was like brown. It was like a brown velvet, like, but it wasn't even like a good colored brown. It just was like... I wasn't about it. So, I just got this one. So it's just this really pretty, is this maroon? Is that what this color is? I always just like say it's a wine color. Yeah, like a reddish brown purple. But so it is from Ann Taylor. I love it, it buttons up. If I can hold it right. It buttons up. I think it's funny because even the buttons are like velvety. They're not just like a button just thrown on there, they're velvet too. And then the sleeves are a little bit looser fitting around the arm and they're like a three quarter of the length sleeve. Love this, you guys know. I cannot help myself with the velvets, so I just buy them all. <laughs> all right, then I have a handful of stuff that I have to take to get dry cleaned, unfortunately, which I hate doing, but. So first is just this cream colored tank top. This one is from Ann Taylor. The, I liked the material of this one though, and I didn't want to hand wash it and ruin it like I've done with a few shirts lately. Like, I think I've ruined one too many shirts. I, it's probably like four shirts now that I've ruined just by washing them when they were supposed to be dry cleaned. So, I'm going to take this one, get it dry cleaned, but I really like this one. It's like lightweight. I think it'll be cute, simple, fun for like the summertime. So yeah, not much to say about that. It's a plain shirt. Then my friend found this sweater. See, I'm trying to go fast, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> so my friend found this sweater for me. It is just this like peach color and tan striped sweater. It is from J. Crew, which is always a fun little bit. This though is an extra small, but it is a wool, nylon, and cashmere mix of material. So had to get it and it's J. Crew. it was in really really good condition like I don't see anything wrong with it at all so I got that and then I got another J. Crew sweater this is just a green one like this I haven't tried this one on yet I just bought it so I'm hoping it's not gonna be itchy but so far I'm just like I don't know about that this might be a guy's ones too, but this is premium lamb's wool. So lamb's wool, I feel like, is the more itchy. I feel like merino wool is usually the really nice, like, silky of the wool. But lamb's wool is just, like, so... Most times that I've found anyways, they're kind of itchy. So, yeah. But I like the neckline of this, how you can, like, kind of wear it up. 
or fold it over and then you've got a nice little detail on the back for the neck and then it's just simple green all over it's kind of large but I think it's a large this is a size small this really might be a guy's a guy's sweater because this is a size small but it looks really big like oversized and then last but not least I got one last sweater it is just this really pretty blue aqua color look at how pretty this color is and oh it feels so nice it's a really really thick wool see this one is the merino wool and it just feels so much better than the lambs wool but this one I like it's so nice and thick it's gonna be super warm and it is by Brooks Brothers so it's just gonna show but yeah so it is by Brooks Brothers it is extra fine Italian merino 100% merino wool so I love the color of this it feels so nice and I love the little zipper up detail in the front <clears throat> can't talk zipper in the front so I am obsessed and so I kind of like putting this at the end of the videos now on my lips I'm gonna save it for the end of this video again today you guys know by now it is the NYX soft matte lip cream and this one is just in San Paolo I really really like this one is this my first time wearing this color? I feel like it is, but I could be wrong. It's the number 8 San Paolo. I love it. But so yeah, that is everything that I found this time for my thrift haul. If you guys enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.